friends, welcome to Equisys. Myself, Murugan. I'm a senior technical analyst here. Uh, we are a stock market research firm. Okay. Uh, for next few minutes, I'm going to discuss about, you know, an interesting subject. Most of the traders are curious about intraday trading. And most importantly, how do I select stock for intraday? Because in a matter of 5-10 seconds, how can I locate the stock out of 1000 companies? Okay. So what approach have to be followed? In what way it is different from positional trading? Okay. I request one thing. I appreciate your all patience. But you know, you have to have a kind of patience to watch this complete video. So that you get to know, you know what matters when it comes to intraday trading. Okay. Let's get into the content. I hope the, your audios are turned on. We always appreciate people to trade with knowledge and discipline. Uh, if you all already are existing client, you may be aware of what is knowledge and discipline. If not, check out uh, you know, our YouTube channel, you figure out the you know, things. Uh, do uh, subscribe our channel so that you get your upcoming videos also. Coming back to the subject here. Okay. How to identify stock for intraday trading? That's the key when it comes to intraday trading. Uh, you know, we have thousands of companies, so we don't have you know two three hours to study each and every company to pick stock. Intraday trading is quite different from a positional trading. Okay, when it comes to positional trading, we see charts by charts. We try to figure out if there is any you know uh, technical formation. We try to identify if there is a solid demand over supply, and then we actually mark uh, you know the entry exit levels. But when it comes to intraday trading, we don't have enough time to pick it. So the approach what we follow is actually called as top-down approach because that is where you can get the stock instantly. But that process should have some adequate logic. So that logic is what we thought of discussing through this particular video. Okay, uh, what happens is, uh, let's take uh, a browser here. And what I'm going to do in this particular video is to use the open source which are widely available as a data for intraday trading i'm not actually going to bind you people when it comes to uh, you know uh, intraday trading or analysis with any software so i'll probably use only national stock exchange website to pick up the stocks okay now what happens uh, let's get into our website now equisys.com okay so i've just opened the website here uh, the reason being I just opened the website is to actually open the charting platform here. Okay. Remember these charts are not intraday charts. Okay. This is only for our uh, no educational purpose and this is actually the uh, EOD charts which gets updated end of the day. Uh, you see these charts were good for positional traders. Now, a lot of people do this mistake. They try to pick stock even ahead of the market. I mean that may be uh, very popular in even TV channels. But let me tell you one thing, intraday price behavior is highly driven by the sentiment and the sentiment can be tracked during the course of the market, not ahead of the market. Just remember, uh, before any match, any cricket match starts, it's very difficult to say who's going to win the game. But the moment we see first two, three, uh, few overs, you can understand the sentiment of the day. It may go wrong, but still, most of the time you see that the sentiment prevails throughout the day. Sometimes it's clean, easy, clean sweep. Sometimes it's tough match. Sometimes it's very decisive. But sometimes you can easily say the winner of the game. Same is true when it comes to intraday trading. Don't complicate intraday trading. Uh, rather, what you have to do is first just get into uh, intraday analysis into two parts. Number one, identifying stock. Number two, defining the levels about entry and exits. Remember one thing, anybody who, who trade without exit levels are actually gamblers from Equus's perspective. Okay, now let's get into intraday trading one. Let's get into nseindia.com. Okay, so when it comes to intraday trading, we actually follow a kind of method, like a kind of top-down approach. You know, in a limited time, how can I pick stock? A shortcut, well accepted, widely followed concept. How is the market sentiment? Then look after the se sector which is driving the market and get into the, the stock specific one. So that's the reason why you see many times in internationally or any, any business newspapers or uh, channels, you see they are actually discussing what top stocks or top sectors are about the, the, the global markets and everything. So let's try to sort it out in few minutes. Look at this now. I'm going to do this at real time. 
uh, now you see it's june 23 uh, that's you know it's the market is open today and we have uh, you know now the time is maybe about 12 30 here but the good time to trade may be around morning 10 to 10 30 or 11 o'clock or if not around 2 to 2 30 or 2 4 because these two time slots are uh, uh, is good to get the flow of sentiment because morning 9 9 50 9 30 the market even is not stable at this moment but you allow the market to reflect the sentiment and morning 10 to 11 11 30 you see the asian markets are active post 11 11 30 to 12 1 uh, in the european market sometimes starts by 12 30 or 1 30 okay depends on the daylight saving they have but it's good to trade by around 2 2 30 3 o'clock but that time you see you uh, know uh, uh, the 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 closing sent the closing scenario takes place and the market often provides a steady move okay how to pick stock coming back to the subject here okay now what happens uh, let's divide certain things into three parts number one how can i say the market is really uh, market sentiment is positive number one let's get into first global market how is global market doing now see i'm just using the you know uh, global markets okay global markets google it i think you get sites on top of it mostly google does this job for you get the site which is on top now so if i did this i get the money control website okay when it comes to money control website i try to scroll down scroll down here okay i think you can see the uh, us market european market asian markets okay what can what market matters to us number one if it is at morning session look at asian markets if it is even, evening session it is at european markets because that's an active market it's not about which market is really powerful there is no market called powerful market but the markets provides you know a kind of sentiment to indian market and we drive that sentiment from the active market why am i looking at global markets see the global market is a market where the global players are present at this moment okay anybody who trade in us market may trade in indian market provided he is a global player okay now if if a global market is uh, you know anybody who is trading in uh, europe at this moment may be looking at indian market as well and that guy may be a strong guy so i just wanted to know how this global markets are prevailing at this moment okay now look at this uh, i'm sure i think you can see this area here european markets FTSE, cac dax okay that's typically uh, i know ranging around a neutral to negative sort of scenario so i conclude the uh, the the global market sentiment is negative and then i look at uh, i just wanted to know how you uh, know foreign players are looking at indian markets fii activity because i i hope you all know that the foreigners have uh, the foreign institutional investors flow have positively correlated in Indian markets. Once again, I did search this in Google. I get it through NSE India website and it is a provisional data. But at this moment, I see that FI in equity markets are actually around, uh, you know, uh, 192 crores net positive. Uh, they are a net buyer yesterday. Okay, it is not today's data. But if you see this on few days, you get to know what is their view, what is their likely stance about Indian market. Are they slightly consistent? And whenever you see FIs were buying, Indian markets were moving up and FIS are selling, the Indian markets are moving down. So I should give importance to this. And I see this is positive and not that positive. 192 crores is okay, positive. That's a move. But you get to know what is okay, what is really big deal when you start seeing these numbers on a regular basis. Then what we do is, uh, you know, uh, we try to understand how Indian market itself prevailing. You know, I just get into Indian market now. Uh, 47 points negative, 0.49% negative. I'm sure this is a kind of negative move at this moment. So uh, let me let me put it this way. Indian market is a kind of, you know, I, I let me conclude this a kind of negative stance at this moment for me when it comes to Indian markets. Okay, and let's go for uh, advance and decline ratio. I think you would have heard of these things before. Uh, that's more most important thing. Like you know, I see there are uh, thousand five hundred companies in India. If I see about thousand three hundred and forty four companies at this moment is actually negative, and two sixty six companies are moving positive. So the floor is actually negative at this moment. So when I look at the global market is negative, and FIs are uh, mildly positive, and Indian market is negative, and advance in decline regression. So at this moment, okay, what I do analysis now maybe about one o'clock is actually negative at this moment. 
doesn't mean the sentiment have to be negative by around 230 it doesn't mean the sentiment was negative so whenever you do analysis whenever you are about to trade you have to initiate this analysis and intraday trading have to be a followed instantly after the intraday analysis so that you can catch the sentiment you know as close as possible okay now what happens the sentiment is negative at this moment now i have to figure out which uh, you know sector is actually following this uh, move so i see interestingly i hope you could see something button here click here and you find the sectoral index here just click on here when it comes to intraday i see today most of the sectors are negative that itself shows a kind of signal to me that uh, you know uh, today the sentiment is negative that keeps the buyers away from market that's the reason why you would have seen the moment intraday sentiment negative throughout the day it tends to be negative sometimes you see reversal do happen so that we cannot guess when it's going to happen but let's follow the market today indian market is now negative at this point of time uh, i know the one which is very negative for the day is auto more than auto i see there is a psu bank and real estate i am sure the psu bank and real estate are doing really bad for the day okay let's see uh, you know now we got why am i not following it sector it sector is positive which is contradicting the market now when it comes to intraday remember flow along with the sentiment uh, contradicting sometime thrilling so, sometime entertaining sometime offering you money but that something is the reason why people loses money so understand the logic why people loses money in market when it comes to contradicting always you uh, know try follow the market i i would like to get into real estate let's click here is a real estate if i open the real estate market here i think you can easily see something here you know uh, about one stock advances nine stock declining a very common behavior that's great let's get into the stock here okay when it comes to real estate you see today uh, you know ibr is really doing well about 3% positive i mean this percentage column you can see this and 3% positive and you see something called obrai realty is about 4% negative what stock what matters to me let me tell you one thing today market sentiment is negative and real estate is negative and i am not someone who is interested about ibr who is contradicting market let's get into the one which is very negative which is called as obrai realty or delta corp or best prestige or godrej property so let's short this based on the top losers perspective so your stock may be from obrai prestige delta corp godrej but sometime you would have noticed no uh, maybe losing about 4% the moment i buy it keeps moving up i lose money you know morgan what makes the sentiment reverse so suddenly uh, probably because that stock movement was not acknowledged by that much of volume so i just need to know how much volume are actually back for these stocks so i let's write all these company name obrai prestige delta corp and godrej what i going to do is i going to sort this based on turnover look at this ib are doing really well dlf doing really well hdl doing really well delta corp is doing really well but i don't see the common stock among the turnover as well as the percentage but we got one which is the delta corp look at this delta corp managed to be uh, you know one among top 4 and once again when it comes to uh, you know one, once again when it comes to turnover the high turnover i am just clicking on here so that you know you can sort this column which is very interesting in nsu website so look at this again delta corp murgan why you see top 4 top 4 no you can see top 5 or top 3 top 2 it is rs but the flow is this understand the market understand the sector and get the stock and while picking the stock give importance to the numbers of this so what happens is now i got a delta corp so delta corp is a stock which i am interested look at the chart can you see the kind of flow it is coming down keeps on moving down that's a stock which you have to think about trading today okay now what happens a delta corp is uh, you know not the something else have taken up so you have to take a stock which is delta corp open the delta corp stock okay the charts are not loaded in my browser so let's go to google even again it is free uh i think most of your uh, you know a uh, brokers may offer you an intraday charge which is you don't have to pay a lot of bucks to outside to buy that but you know uh, get some good brokers we are also supporting some of the brokers if you are interested get connected to us okay look at this um let's go to what company delta corp share price i think this this going to give you a charge instantly to you okay now what happens is murgan uh delta corp is already down by 4% do i need to create position here 
because it is already down by 4%, will it go to 5% or 6%? Why not? That's my question here. Because uh, it is true that we see a limited price range, but there is exceptional too. And I'm not betting only about exceptions, but the point is we are contradicting the market the moment we have a fear, it may not go below 4%. This was the case in the morning today, it was about 3% or a 2%. You know, what's wrong in seeing the further price down? But okay, now can I go and sell now? The, now you see the price trading at 154.60. Now that's a delta cut price. Okay, let's make it intraday charts. Guys, when you do an intraday trading, you need an intraday charts. It doesn't matter 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but you need an intraday charts. And never ever compare today's chart with yesterday's charts. It's today's is apple, tomorrow's yesterday's is orange, tomorrow's is pineapple. Don't compare these things. Intraday charts is good only for intraday. Okay, and don't compare this with the next day. So when I have intraday charts about a one full day charge, so what I'm going to do is, look at this, the prices were actually down, it was very down and f at, from 12 p.m. you see the price started moving up and now my client is calling me and you know, she's asking me can I go and sell it right away. Now everything is negative but I'm not selling it because I still have a kind of temporary support that the stock got from 12 p.m. but who knows it is a temporary that's a problem I have if I know it is temporary I can sell my stock even at current level so that I can make some good money as the price goes down okay now what am I gonna do I have to create short position uh, people who are aware of short position can you know further uh, uh, otherwise you can check out some of our other videos to understand what is short positions or browse equals website to get it done or google it but a short position is something where you can sell and buy after some time and that have to be done before 3.30. Ensure that if you don't do it, it goes for auction market, there is a lot of penalty for that. Selling without owning is not a problem. But if you sell something without owning the stock, you have to buy it. But this is the only way to make money if you are expecting price to go down. But now we are feeling, we, we have a kind of confidence to say that the Delta Corp may go down because this is a stock which is moving down along with good volume and this stock, this stock, the sector is badly beaten up today and the market is also negative, global market is negative. But the point here is now, how can I actually, uh, you know, sell the stock here? Now, don't sell the stock soon after you see that. Rather, we have seen the 12 p.m. the low was proven to be kind of... Uh, a temporary bottom or it can be permanent but if I see the current price manage to break that bottom you know uh, gives you two signal number one that may be a temporary bottom number two the current momentum which you know after seeing such thing and if a price managed to come down slowly and if it breaks that then that is a time the momentum is also very high so what I do is I request my client to play short below only below 153 you can see the price on top of it I mean, am I right the price for this moment is about 153 the lowest point of the time is 153 uh, 20 so I keep a low as 153 as a stock you know a play to short I try to figure out the target by understanding the risk so the stop loss is something around 155 so if you see the stop loss how I say stop loss the the, the top which forms after given that low okay any top okay now 155 the so 2 rupees is the risk I'm taking so I need a 2 rupees at bottom Remember one thing, never ever compromise for the returns which is less than the risk, number one. Number two, so you already know the stock name, Delta Corp. You know it is a short position. You know the target is, uh, entry is 153 below and you know the stop loss is 155 and you know that the, you know, uh, that target you need is 2 rupees, maybe 151 as your, uh, uh, the level to actually, uh, buy back the stock at lower levels to make money Remember your quantity should be good enough to understand your overall risk It means if you are kind of trader cannot bear more than 100 rupees per trade Then don't trade more than 50 quantity and ensure that your intraday risk per trade should be common across your trade So that if you do 100 attempts Okay, you may be right by just 52 53 54 times may be wrong by 45 times even after following thousands of logics but still you can retain something back home, you know, as a money. This is how a business has to be done. Okay. And I hope you found these things that are so interesting. Uh, selecting stock is very tedious. We also support people. You know, you can actually go to Equis's website. Uh, <clears throat> but this is not for the early stage. Start doing the process what we did now. Uh, you can find something like, you know, under analysis. Uh, intraday analysis we have, intraday stock scanner and intraday uh, tracker.
because there are uh, you know a thousand ways by which you can understand the momentums by understanding the volume and by understanding the uh, you know the gap it formed or the open high open low scenario and you see a lot of uh, things can be done when it comes to intraday like you know i just want to know any stock formed at open high open low you know i think this can help you but remember this gets updated uh, now it's got updated by 12:15 uh, you, you this is available here am i right i hope you could see this uh, sorry here it is and if you if there is a, we also feel some stocks are good for intraday sell okay today we found recl uh, based on the momentum with other things that's a good stock to sell for this and there are top gainers top losers okay this is not for someone who is novice to market those who understand the market who is screening it can do it uh, ensure that if this if this area is uh, not active if you see there is no countdown it is better you actually refresh this so that you can get the latest update from us and this is done through manual process so i hope you can bear with us and do send this feedback and we also have something called intraday tracker you know which is under analysis intraday tracker there you can have the list of tables can keep the stocks in front of you alive so you can pick stocks so quickly if you have all these things so you know uh, any comments anything we appreciate uh, you post below the comment section uh, we appreciate if you guys can actually subscribe our videos uh subscribing uh, or if you uh, know uh, pass any comments about the videos that would really help us uh, uh in terms of uh, you know making all upcoming videos uh we also uh, conduct lot of training programs we also provide uh, trading tips so if you are interested do check uh, equisis website eqsis.com uh, thanks for watching this video happy trading